Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new video in this video number 4 about Prometheus and Grafana. We just discover the graphical user interface about Prometheus. If you want to can subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video. So for beginning we go on our graphical interface and uh, in this graphical interface interface sorry we just use it um, to do some queries for example with promql or uh, to check uh, some configuration but uh, usually we never use it uh, to uh, really uh, visualize our uh, data uh, or to do some chart or dashboard or anything uh, to do it, we just use uh, Grafana, we'll see it later. But this is important uh, to use uh, Prometheus to, to, to understand how it works, uh, how to debug it. This is very, very important to understand it. So first, uh, first of all, the, the qu query page. Um, here we have uh, the main page and in this page we could uh, define a promql uh, query for example we can uh, do um, a load uh, 15 for example and we can we could check uh, the value of it and uh, the list of our metrics uh, on all uh, target server so uh, for example we have uh, we have our open metrics uh, metrics and uh, we have node load uh, 50 15 and if we check we have the label uh, instance and the label job and we see we have only one server one target server and one metric if you want you can uh, refresh uh, this line we run again uh, our PromQL query. And if you want, you can use the graph uh, here and uh, we can see uh, how uh, our metrics uh, uh, go or are in uh, or is in the past. Uh, we see we have a metric who, uh, decrease. Um, you can change uh, the range of uh, of the time uh, of the time series uh, for example we uh, we see we have one hour uh, matrix okay uh, if you want you can use a two hour or uh, 30 minutes or uh, 50 minutes 15 minutes um, we can go back uh, of course we can use the stack configuration for the graph and uh, if we have many uh, target we can see uh, many colors in this case uh, we can insert other metrics uh, to add it in the same graph if you go on console uh, this is useful to understand we have uh, here enable we could enable the query history uh, if we check it we can do for example a sum of uh, our node load uh, 15 if i execute it i have a sum of it and if i uh, do another uh, another request for example i just uh, use the up uh, metric and i want to do the same uh, the same query like uh, I have already done and I can have uh, the line of our uh, previous uh, query because we have checked uh, the enable uh, query history okay um, that's all for here I think yes uh, we we'll see later how to to do our first uh, query with a promql uh, language so we have uh, here the al alerts alerts uh, this is where we define uh, the alerting uh, rules so here we have uh, no alert uh, so we'll see it later we have the graph this is uh, the same uh, the same page uh, like uh, our uh, home page um, 
And very important uh, here we have a status. The first element of status not really important. This is the version of our Prometheus. Uh, some element about it, the uh, storage storage uh, retention. We keep our metrics during uh, 15 uh, days. Uh, we have um, the last reload, yes, uh, the working deer. We have uh, the version, okay. We have the Go version because uh, Prometheus uses uh, the Go language. We can uh, check the number of chunks. Chunks is how, uh, how many elements uh, uh, the time series data database uh, uh, split your matrix uh, to store it on uh, your uh, file system. The mean and the max uh, time. Uh, this is maybe we could use it, not uh, very, very uh, useful. We can find uh, some element about cardinality uh, labels. You can find uh, which labels uh, use uh, many cardinality, which uh, matrix use uh, many cardinality. Uh, if a metric uh, use uh, many cardinality, this is because uh, uh, this matrix um, is very complex. And uh, if you do some queries on uh, this uh, matrix, maybe you use uh, very, very, uh, very important uh, resource. Okay, um, that's all for it. Uh, the command line, yes, the command line uh, flags. Um, this is, uh, we use, in our case, we just install uh, Prometheus with a, a simple uh, apt install Prometheus. And uh, in this case, we have the default uh, parameter uh, here. For example, we just, uh, we can do a change. For example, we activate the life cycle. Uh, the life cycle allows you to uh, reload Prometheus with a curl on the Prometheus API. To do to activate it here, yeah, it's false. We just activate it. Uh, we go on our server. If you do a curl, sorry, curl like here, we just uh, send to our API a reload, and Prometheus respond. Uh, with a life cycle API is not enabled. Okay, so to change it, I go in slash etc default Prometheus to change the command line, and we have many parameters. We can change uh, our parameter, which is, yes, this one. We change the web enable life cycle to enable life cycle here. And I just run sudo systemctl, systemctl restart of our Prometheus server. Okay, so if I run again, I refresh my, my page, and we have now uh, activate this, uh, this element, our life cycle to reload our server with a simple curl. If I do now a curl, we could reload uh, Prometheus with it. We have many elements, uh, which IP, which interface uh, do you want uh, Prometheus uh, listen on it? Max connection, um, some element about uh, uh, the time series uh, engine, and uh, the rules alert. And uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, where do you store the configuration, for example? and some other element. Uh, you can go on the configuration page, config page. So this is the same element without a comment, like your uh, slash etc prometheus and prometheus.cml. Okay, this is the same thing uh, that allows you to uh, check the configuration with uh, the uh, graphical interface. This is very, very useful. When you have uh, some uh, dynamic configuration, you can check it on this page. This is very, very important. Uh, we have the rules 
page for uh, for uh, the for recording rules. Uh, so we'll see it uh, later. We doesn't use a recording use uh, for this moment. Uh, we have the target. This is very very important to debug uh, your Prometheus. We can check here which uh, which job. Here this is the name of the job. We have the job uh, node node and the job Prometheus. If we check the configuration, we see it here. We have the job name Prometheus and the job name node. Okay. The job name Prometheus listen on a uh, scrap on the root uh, 1919 uh, and the node uh, job uh, scrap on the root uh, 9100. You can check it with the target page. We we'll see it, uh, the target uh, server and the root. This is the endpoint or root. We can uh, see if uh, our target server uh, respond uh, on this uh, endpoint uh, with the state. Uh, in this case, we have uh, a root uh, and the root is up. We have uh, specific labels for uh, this uh, job. The last scrap, the scrap duration. Maybe we could have a, a timeout uh, on Prometheus, uh, and if the server uh, responds uh, under this timeout, this is okay. Or uh, uh, if uh, if uh, we don't respond in this time uh, in this script uh, duration, we have uh, an error. Um, that's all for this page. And service discovery, this is another way to see uh, our target server, but this is useful. But I, in my case, I prefer to use target. Uh, target this is very, very important. If you want to uh, find the documentation, you can click on help and you go on the Prometheus uh, documentation online. That's all for today. Thank you for following this video and I say goodbye and see you in the next video. Bye.